Tigers and Sharks, I have some good news for you. I've never been so excited to say these words in my life. I was wrong, and Las Vegas Buffets are back! It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So, as we've discussed many, many, many times on this channel, Las Vegas buffets are a staple of Las Vegas casino culture. They're so ingrained into the experience that, whether you like them or not, they're inevitably part of the Las Vegas core image. There was a lot of fear surrounding buffets, especially since station casinos and Caesars Entertainment executives went out of their way to criticize and decry the mainstay of Vegas vacation dining. But now that we're mostly Seeing a downtrend in numbers of a certain virus, it appears as if the powers that be in the casino industry seem to believe it's time for buffets to return. But before you shine up a fresh plate and starve yourself for most of the morning, there are a few caveats that need to be explained. Here's what you need to know about the return of Las Vegas buffets. You're likely excited by the prospect of hitting a buffet before a long night of indulging on the strip. But don't get your hopes up too high. There's only one dinner buffet on the strip right now, the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace that recently reopened after a massive renovation. And it's not cheap. At $65 a head, you may want to see if you have any quick comps available, or else forego a buffet in favor of some other dining in Vegas. Another interesting feature that you'll notice that ties into our last point is that time isn't your friend in this instance. Most of the buffets have reduced hours, only operating half a day in either direction. Garden Buffet at South Point is in full swing, but it's also off strip, so that might affect your perception or your ability to visit it. Additionally, the buffets don't operate all days. Wicked Spoon, for example, only runs from 8 to 3 Thursday through Sunday. Bacchanal, on the other hand, runs Thursday through Monday, and as of this recording, MGM Grand only plans to run from Thursday through Monday for breakfast and lunch services from 7am to 2pm. Yes, with Vegas coming back into full swing, you can expect to see larger crowds everywhere, including the buffets. And those lines were bad enough prior to the pandemic. But what if I told you the returning crowds and general staffing problem that Vegas has now isn't the only reason that getting a seat will be tricky. Another consideration to make is that there aren't going to be too many casino hotel buffets to enjoy. Yes, several off-strip non-casino buffets have reopened, that's true. But if you want to eat at a traditional casino buffet, preferably with your comps, then you'll have a very small selection. If you're interested in breakfast, lunch, or even brunch, then you can choose between the Wicked Spoon Buffet at Cosmo, the self-titled MGM Grand Buffet, or the Garden Buffet at South Point, Las Vegas. But if you want a dinner buffet, you'll have to either wait for Garden Buffet or Bacchanal at 4 o'clock. Yes, Garden Buffet is not only the only buffet open 7 days a week, but it's the only one that covers all meal times. So, in addition to there only being 4 currently active buffets, they only cover certain meal times, which will likely put a damper on your plans if you're looking for certain cuisines at certain places. And finally, don't expect to get too up close and personal with your food anymore. While certain stations like the Carvery have always been manned, some buffets are going to go entirely manned. Wicked Spoon Buffet at Cosmo features small plates and the buffet workers plating food for you. Bacchanal still allows you to serve yourself, but again, most of the offerings are on smaller individual plates now too. So be prepared for a few minor changes on how you're supposed to serve yourself. But that's about it. Now that you're prepared, go forth and indulge. Okay, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's episode and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Which Vegas buffet, if any, do you plan on visiting next? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time, though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you strong hands, and, of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas.